How did I get into Lions? Oh boy. This was a long, long time ago. Well, to be honest, when I got into them was, was well, Lion King, National Geographic, Animal Planet, Discovery Channel, etc. You know, I, I've always been a Lion fan for many years. You know, and to be honest, when it comes to Africa, and even, and not just Africa, but like predators in general, lions are actually one of the easiest pre animals to film. Like, I'm being dead serious. Like, for example, I mean, even I said it in some of my videos, lions, when they see a person, they just ignore the person, even if the person's like in a truck or whatever, like that safari truck, they just ignore you. When it comes to other animals like like tigers and, and stuff like – and guys like them, they're skittish. And leopards too. Leopards are also skittish towards people even in, in the truck. It's really hard to film a leopard. Yeah. So to be honest, you know – but anyways, to be honest, like – I've been a lion fan for many years because lions are the most iconic animal of all time. They provide it. It it is the symbol of courage, um, charisma. You know, the king of the beasts. You know, lions. You know, are the only big cat that live in called groups or called prides. As as what they're called um they're the only cat that lives in that lives in groups um you know lions used to live i wouldn't say everywhere but they used to live like you know like four continents africa asia europe and north america now they died out but now lions are only found in only africa and uh in asia you know and they're the the only big cat that has the loudest sound of any yeah that has the loudest roar of any big cat you know a male can you know, when a, when a male lion roars, you can hear that thing like five or six miles away, even in a zoo. And it's very iconic. You know, that's why, like, when I hear a male lion in a, on YouTube or, or on a documentary or whatever, you feel that. Like, it's like, it feels awesome to hear a lion roar. <clears throat> Yeah, but also, depending on on which sex, lions have one of the shortest lifespans, I think, of any big cat. Even in the wild, unfortunately, because unfortunately, when male lions get old in the pride, new males come over and they beat the hell out of them and then they start to take over. And the older males, you know, they... Sometimes, depending on numbers, but in average lifespans, male lions live up to 10 to 10 to 12 years, depending on the coalition. Or no, Now, if, if it's a lone male, it also depends on, on his age, but yeah, 10 to 12 years. I mean, 10 to 12 years is, is a long lifespan, and sort of, but it's not longer than the other cats. But with females, the lionesses, they live 12 to 17, maybe 16 years, I think. That's what I heard. Um, yeah. Um, but anyways, it's just like... And also, like... And and anyways, back in with document, oh yeah, and when it comes to documentaries, there's a lot of shots 
that I really like in terms of like with documentaries, like for example, you know, with Intuit to Mela, the male lion killing two matriarch hyenas. That was freaking badass. That's awesome too. Because male lions, especially in Twilight Mela, hate hyenas. And hyenas fear male lions. Even a clan of hyenas would not F around with an with a adult pride male in his prime. You know? One pride male can chase away a clan. And that's actually very impressive. It's very impressive indeed. Um, yeah, male lions are basically my favorite of all the cat. I mean, of all the big cats. As a kid, I used to thought that lions used to be the largest big cat, but no, it's actually tigers. But millions of years ago. I know it's a different story, but lions were the largest big cat. I know, yes, it's it's going on debatable, but I think that the American lion is the largest big cat of all time. And, ha and probably has the largest skull of any big cat. But I have to do more research. And that's another thing, too, why I really like the lions. Lions used, like I said before, lions used to live in North America. Imagine in an alternate timeline when if the um if some of the Pleistocene animals were alive like for example like imagine lions living in North America that would be terrifying but it would be awesome at the same time seeing these magnificent animals hear them roaring in the background hunting bison um competing with wolves and grizzly bears um Hunting elk. It would be amazing to see that. Unfortunately, you know, climate change and man have killed off the magnificent prehistoric cat. Um, and back in the day, I, I mean, and even still to this very day, I used to watch a lot of documentary clips on YouTube at the time. Before even you're even allowed to make, I think so. I I I, I can't remember at the time. Before you can make, you know, a, a doc. Before you know, if if you allow documentaries to be on YouTube at the time, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's a long story, a very very long story. How I got into lions, and then for a while. You know, I stopped because apparently people were making fun of me on YouTube. So I moved. On. I mean, we're not not on YouTube. People were making fun of me in high school, well, in middle school. So I just quit. And then high school, I just you know I I quit immediately. And then I when I graduated, I just came back to them. You know, I came back to lions. So now it's like. You know, my childhood is coming back to me, basically. And besides, F those people. I should have ignored them, but no. I was bullied, and it was a long time ago. And it, and it wasn't just lions as well. It was also the big cats, like tigers, leopards, and, and jaguars, and things like that. I was a, you know... Back in the day, people used to call me Big Cat because I was a fan of big cats, you know. And I, and and more on the line, I will also do like how I got into tigers and leopards and things like that, and and even dinosaurs as well, and Dragon Ball and Godzilla. But you know, with with lions, you know, I think lions were the start. And maybe that's how I got into animals. It was either lions, horses, dinosaurs, or something else. I can't even remember. It was a long, long time ago. I was like three years old. So I can't barely remember. 
But anyways, that's my story, how I got into Lions. And I'm sorry I was a bit off topic, but yeah.